The one thing that I <laughs> cannot compete with you on is my phone. But um, this beer actually came from when we were doing the beer fest. We get these people come up all the time and say, "What's your lightest one? What's your light? I want your lightest one. What's your lightest one?" And we're like, "Let's make the lightest one." So now people will ask, "Like, what's your lightest one?" The lightest, the lightest one. one. They're like, oh, "Yeah, we know. We want to know what you that fuck is." With me now, right? Like, no, no, we made it for that. So, um, but really, like in Germany, like they don't use any like corn and stuff. It's different style, all very, very anal Reinheitsgebot, but. Um, this is as light as you can make beer with just using Pilsner malt yep. for the most part. Mm -hmm. So a very basic recipe. Um, so good. Ferments for a long time. We spun to get natural carbonation mm -hmm. out of it, which is pretty what cool. What else do you use in this thing? This is Hallow Tower, and it's a little bit of Hercules in the beginning just, just for, for some bittering. little bit of bittering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's absolutely traditional. Like, they, they produce more, like, they use more Hercules in that country than any, than any other hop. Okay. Yeah. That's fantastic. That is so yeah. good. <laughs> oh, my god. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hercules is a wonderful clean bittering hop. Uh, that's all it's really meant to be. It's a super alpha hop. Yeah, right. So it's, it works it's, well with that. That's yeah. what it's meant to be, and it's the clean, crisp hop character you expect from German hops. Right. So. But most of the hop flavor you, you, you taste in this one is Hallow Tower. Of course, yeah. So, you know. Yeah, your later editions. And exactly. I love how it, it recommends you drinking this out of a Stein, a Stein. But this with is a, everything. And then with everything, and then this is obviously a twelve ounce can. Beer. So. No, we did the Instagram post of how many cans it would take to fill the whole liter. Beer, yeah. I think it's a roughly three. It was like three yeah. years to get head on. Three, three and a little bit. Well, we I mean, have to like, also, like, that's the thing about, you know, yeah. in Germany, when you get a liter, it's not a liter. You've got a good, like. Oh, yeah. No, it's so, a liter so with the head. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. German yeah. glass have a yeah. mark because they're so crazy out there that, like, if you don't get that mark with beer, then mm -hmm. you're in trouble. Mm. Like, everybody thinks that there's CO2 in your beer to make it bubbly on your palate. That's not the reason. It's there to protect the beer when you pour it aggressively. You create this head that protects it from oxygen. Yeah. That's the number one reason there's it tastes great. CO2 <laughs> in your beer. It's just protection. It's like you go get Hellas out in like Oktoberfest, you know, they're, they don't taste like they're fully carbonated like that. No, like, not by the time they're served. Rocky yeah. Head. yeah. That's kind of part. You pour it and you decarb it a little bit. Exactly. As the foam comes out. But yeah, I mean, you know, after just getting back, like this beer makes me so happy. Uh, I mostly drank Hellas while I was there. I would try other things here and there, but I always went back to Hellas. Mm -hmm. I don't um, drink many Hellas. I just don't find very good. There's so not a lot. Hellas is here that I enjoy. I mean, this is just, this is a rare. Well, the thing rarity. is, the hot word for like lager is Pilsner. Yeah. Like Pilsner is like, oh, craft beer is, craft light lager, I guess, is Pilsner. But Hellas is like, well, what, do we, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Well, what it means is it's just, it's more malty, it's not as hoppy. So looking for that like kind of intro beer, you say you want something light, you're really saying like, I want something that's not super hoppy too. Yeah. This is kind of a good beer to get into. But it really kind of blends the categories. You get like, your Pilsner's a little bit more crisp and bitter, whereas Hellas is a little more malty and full, but like they're gonna cross right over. Yeah. Like the hoppier Hellas is like a mild Pilsner, so. Yeah, you know, and a couple of the guys I was with while I was over there,